Why, hello! Good of you to join me again. Hey there, everybody. Um, today, topic will be about belts. A lot of people can realize that the, the Chinese lifters look very smooth, very controlled, very steady. Yeah, take a pick of whatever terms you want to use. But let's look beyond that and looks, let's look into why it happens. Why they're so steady and smooth and com comfortable looking. Um, you know how a lot of people say that you need to pull the bar towards you, shift the weight to the heels and then extend up, or just this, this, things like that. Now, amongst the Chinese, I have never heard of this. Never. I've never heard of them saying, push your knees back. I've never heard of all these kind of things. All I heard about was to keep my legs strong, my lower back working. Just two things. Now, if you take a look at Lu Xiaojun, If you take a look at Liao Hui, Si Ziyong, the young one, which is just recently competed. And the old Suzio. They all have their own styles. Lu Xiaojun looks very smooth, very uh, almost relaxed, almost lazy. Um, Su Zigong as well, the, the older one. These guys, they look very... When they leave, it's just like... It just looks like it's just enough. Just right, okay? Then you get guys like Tian Tao, the youngest Su Zigong. Guys like Yao Hui. <laughs> Who look a little bit more aggressive. They look a little bit harder. When they live, in fact, my old coach, uh, Coach Wu Chuan Fu, great guy. If you're in Singapore, if you're going down to Singapore, you got to look for him for some help. All these guys, they look a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more fierce when they lift. And if you look at it, they still look controlled. Now, let's explore into why they're smooth looking Chinese lifters, why they're more aggressive looking Chinese lifters, but yet at the same time, they still make the lift look rather effortless. Center. You can talk a lot about other things like, you know, you want to be in a very powerful position, your jump position, which should be here, hip high, whatever. Okay, but take a look at Liao Hui. It's very apparent when Liao Hui does it. He lifts it here, and right about here, he just shoves his knee. He doesn't shove it, he's just actually just pulling. And the knee just happens to be here. Okay, this gives him ample power to use the power of the legs. Just go. <laughs> Lu Xiaojun, same old thing. Comes here, suddenly comes the bar, comes here. The legs come here, and he's just pushing the bar up. He's also got a shorter femur. So his one, I feel, looks a little bit smoother because of his shorter femur. A lot of these lifters, they, they just stay in the center. Everything they do, they just stay within that sense of gravity. That's the sense of mass, that's it. They play within that region. 
And as long as they're not exceeding that center of mass and make themselves feel unstable, they can create whatever technique they want to do. In fact, look at Daniel Gadelli. these two lifters look completely different, Liu Xiaojun and Daniel Gadelli, which I agree. But they play within that center of mass. They don't come out of it. Uh, Norik Verdanian, okay, doesn't look the same as any of the Chinese lifters, but he's still smooth. And when I talked to him when we were in Denmark together, running a seminar, he said that all he th thinks about, all he's taught is just to pull straight. There is no shifting to the back, no shifting to the front, any of that sort. All they do is lower back, legs, Pull straight, use the legs power, drive it up, push it up, kick it up, whatever terms you want to use, just boom. That's it. Um, so, in order to create a good second pull, you need the first pull to be very strong, very stable first. And we talk about three positions. One, two, and three. Okay? If you have imbalances in position one, position two and three will compensate. Anybody with a, a background in physiotherapy or when you have instability, another joint will compress, another muscle will have to tighten up in order for the stability to be created. That's why you get hip pain or knee pain on one side, because it's compensating. It's the same thing as lifting. If you do not have a good start position, you will end up compensating. If you feel that like right here, you're not that strong, what makes you think you're going to be strong here? You can't be strong here, you can't be strong here. If you're strong here, you may be strong here, provided you have the proper movement pattern. You won't be able to control much about what happens here. And that's why you need to use pauses, pulls, to practice on this. But this part here, at the start of position one, you can control that. So make sure you make the best out of it. Focus on keeping your lower back strong. Okay, lower back strong, quad strong. Yao tui, yao tui, okay? Yao means lower back, tui means legs, or thigh. So in my case, this is when I feel my legs and my lower back. This is when I feel my legs, but nothing on my lower back. I don't keep anything tight, I just keep them strong. Okay, the cue that I like to use is the strong. Yeah, I feel like I'm strong here. Okay, my legs are dying, my lower back is, yeah, they found it. All right, I can stay here forever. And from here, I move on to here, okay? So for first, the first thing you want to do is just to make sure that you can pick up the bar, boom, get into your strong position. Pick up the bar, boom, get into your strong position. Pick up the bar from the floor, boom, get into your strong position. Every single time, you need to drill this position in your head to remember, ah, this is where I start. Okay? So this is going to be a video series, okay? First position, get here. Legs, hips, lower back, strong. Not tight, just strong. Shoulders, relax. Don't puff your chest like that. Keep your chest down. Keep your shoulders relaxed. This in the socket. You should be okay. You should be okay. Practice this position, and we'll talk about more tomorrow. Boom! I find that this has probably something to do with the way the spine is built. Our lumbar is straight. The thorax and the cervical part of your spine isn't exactly straight. So by artificially trying to puff the chest up, you may be getting a straight thorax region of your spine, but the lower back doesn't necessarily stay straight anymore. Some people it begins to hyperextend like me.